Hey y'all, welcome back. This is Trey, TreyMixes.com. Thanks for coming back for another episode of this. Uh, and we're moving on and mixing from scratch to our next episode. Today we're going to work on background vocals. Uh, before we get rolling, go to TreyMixes.com, get your free book um, on saturation. Uh, like, subscribe, share if you find any of this useful. Email me if you have any other questions, comments, yeah, the whole YouTube nine yards thing. All right, let's get right into it. So we've been doing our mix without background vocals in at all. And we've got our leads and music kind of sounding close to the way we want it to. And so now let's turn on the background vocals and see where we're at and get these other tracks fitting in our mix. Set you free, follow me, set me free, trust me. All right, first thing, we've done our compression, everything on the lead vocals and brought them up, brought them forward. We've kind of lost some of the volume on our background vocals. So I'm going to bring them down a little bit. We're going to play again, and I'm going to move them up to where we have a good volume to start with. Do a little bit of readjusting that we'll get with it. Set you free, follow me, set me free, trust me and we will escape from the city. Okay, a little bit much. Let's bring them all down a smidge. Set you free, follow me. Set me free, trust me, and we will escape from the city. Okay, got them blended in. Some of those are doubles, some of them are harmonies. They came on these tracks. We're going to treat them as such that we're just going to leave them on these tracks unless we need to start separating them. Real quick. One of these guys jumps in a little early. Let's see where it was at. Set me free. Trust me and we will escape from the city. All right, right here. One of them is a little early. The whole section is actually a little early. So let's see which one is on time, which one isn't. That's beat three. All right, this whole section is... A smidge, a smidge early. Let's back them up, line them up a little bit better. Put in little fades. See what it sounds like now. I'll make it through, prove it to you. Follow me. All right, that sounds much better. That was a little early too, but that didn't sound strange. Um, actually, none of these sound strange. Follow me. All right, you convince me. Way to twist my arm. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. <laughs> yeah, I know y'all love those delays. All right, quick little edits there. I'm going to try not to cut anything out of these videos so you can see all the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so we got a little bit of a uh, working volume here. Turn my loop back on. We'll just worry about this section for the time being. It's one of the latter parts of the song. If we get this right, the rest of it ought to fall into place, but we'll check that as we go. So, first things first, because you could see there's an obvious volume, set of volume differences here. Um, we're definitely going to need to compress it. We definitely are going to need to work on some of our EQ, too. It's blending okay, but... You kind of want separation um, for your background vocals. You want it to fill in the spaces, um, or at least I do. I like to fill in some of the spaces that I've cut in the lead vocals, help really give it a round tone, and help really support it. You don't want it to sound like there's nine lead singers. You want it to sound like a well-mixed group of vocals. So let's give this a shot, see kind of what we're listening to. All right, just to make sure our, our compressor isn't going to have to work insanely hard and sound strange throughout, let's do a quick clip gain change here. Bring them, the loud parts, a little closer to the softer ones. Set you free, follow me. Set me free, trust me, and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through. Follow, follow me. Set 
me free. Okay, first things first. Let's get rid of a bunch of the extra noise that we don't need in this guy. With our classic high pass filter, let's roll it way up, and we want to get it way out of the way of the lead vocal. So this may seem like it's a little high, and it might be, but let's see where we're at. Okay, the first thing I want to do here is I'm going to make this a resonant high pass filter, which means where the cutoff is, we're going to bump it up right where the cutoff frequency is. We'll see if this, with the lead vocal, how I demonstrate this concept, it kind of helps fill in some spots where we cut in the other one. And I know for a fact we cut between, in these low mids, uh, between two to five, etc., to get it out of the lead vocal, but we can bring some of that warmth back with our backgrounds. I'll set you free, follow me, set me free, trust me and we will escape from the city, I'll make it through, follow, follow me, set me free, trust me and we will escape from the city, I'll make it through, prove it to you, I'll set you free, follow me. Okay, so with a cut here where this honky resonance frequency is, so check this out. Set you free, follow me, set me free. Yeah, that's not helping anybody. So our friends that are singing here in these background vocals, we don't want to get a build up in that honky frequency. It's the same girl, same voice. So we're going to pull that out because that's frankly kind of offensive. But bringing in some of this warmth that may not sound awesome by itself sounds pretty good with the lead vocal. Trust me and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through. Follow me. Set me free. Trust me and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through. Prove it to you. This is their background vocals. Let's do one more thing here. We'll do a slight gradual low, low pass frequency. And we're going <laughs> to low pass filter. Let the lows through. We're going to get rid of some of these highs way up here where the S's and the T's and the high end are because we don't want to get a buildup of that either. We just want the tone and the warmth of these background vocals to support and fill in some of the stereo spectrum, but we don't want to get a lot of excessive noises in there. I'll set you free, follow me, set me free. Trust me and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through. Follow me. Right about there is where we're getting, where it stops sounding weird. Set you free. Follow me. Set me free. See, we're getting rid of a lot of the highs in it, but it still sounds like a voice. So you want to roll it off and bring it back to where it's normal. All right, let's check one more time here. We'll check it in the mix. I'll set you free. Okay, getting some support there. All right, but because we have all these volume differences and sometimes they're coming in, sometimes they're not, I want to make these uh, very, very, uh, not over compressed, but compressed enough to where it's very even, even throughout. Um, start with our opto channel here because I just like how this works with vocals. And turn off our auto gain. See if we can get our stuff set here set you free. Follow me. Now I'm gonna run this compression ratio way up so I don't have to pull the threshold down so hard to get good compression I'm looking to smooth it out enough to where um, it doesn't sound over compressed but the volume is very consistent set you free. Follow me. Set me free. trust me and we will escape from the city I'll make it through, follow me, set me free, trust me and we will escape from the city, I'll make it through, prove it to you, F set you free, follow me, set me free, trust me and we will escape from the city. 
city. Okay. Uh, a couple of things. I rolled the attack back off because it was really is jumping too, too hard with that compression. Just jumping, making it dip too hard, too fast. But I like the amount of compression that we're getting here. So I rolled the attack back so that it's smoother. Set you free, follow me. Set me free, trust me, and we will escape from the city. So it's bouncing too much. It's, it's chopping it. And so it way too open is not doing anything. See, so we want to get our attack set kind of right. Um, I had about 32, 35 milliseconds, and I think this felt about right. Set you free, follow me. Set me free, trust me, and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through, follow me. It release is pretty good. It's dropping before it hits a real heavy one. It's not staying totally compressed. It's grabbing peaks and smoothing the whole thing out. Let's add back what we took off. Set you free, follow me. Set me free, trust me, and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through, follow me. Okay, let's see how that works. Okay, let's treat this like the other vocals. Let's see what we get from adding a second circuit, and we'll do the same thing. Tell you what, we'll just copy our settings. We'll copy this compressor. We'll stack it in serial like we did the other one, but I'm just going to make this real smooth. We're not going to hammer this so hard. Okay, parallel compression, added a little distortion. Uh, I love adding distortion on background vocals. It really helps make them pop. So remember that pro tip, saturation, distortion on vocals. All the time. All the time, constantly. Never a bad idea. <laughs> no, obviously, that's a joke. Set you free, follow me. Set me free, trust me, and we will escape from city all right a little warmer less harsh and very even from our compressor compressor listen to me compressors so let's check with the other vocal i'll set you free follow me set me free trust me and we will escape from the city ah yeah listen how thick that is that's wonderful good good performances really helps a lot when the performances are that good eh. A little extra track noise for no reason. I'm gonna get rid of that. Sorry, these minor little edits sometimes. All right, fantastic. All right, let's see. You'll notice though there isn't any reverb yet on these background vocals, which is something that we are definitely gonna add because you can hear how one seems to be in a lot of space and the other one is just too dry, it's too in your face. So reverb can help push things a little bit more towards the back, a little bit more, um, make it sound like it's in a hall, kind of the choir effect, and it's not as in your face as the lead vocal is. So we're gonna add, add some of that. So check out this dry versus wet in the same performance. I'll set you free, follow me. It, it sounds so lush in the main vocal, but when the background vocals kick in and then drop out, something's, something's missing real fast. So let's create a send. And we'll use the exact same verb that we're already using on the other vocals. And let's dial this in. I'll set you free, follow me, set me free, trust me and we... I'll set you free, follow me, set me free. Free, 
trust me and we will escape from the city. Okay, a little bit more transparent. Let's see again if this is not enough or too much. I'll set you free. Pretty good. Pretty good sound of reverb. I'll set you free. Follow me. Set me free. That's what your your reverb sound sounds like. Um, but it sounds like there aren't any background vocals over there. So am I wrong? Set you free. Follow me. Set me free. Trust me and we will escape from the city. No, it's definitely there. I'll set you free. Yep. All right, cool. Let's double check what we did with our background vocals and see if we need to adjust our volume any. Let's go to another section of the song and see how it works there. You free, follow me, set me free, trust me and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through, follow, follow me, set me free, trust me and we will escape from the city. seem a little left heavy let's pull the left one down just a smidge and see how that works follow me set me free trust me and we will escape from the city i'll make it through follow follow me set me free trust me and we will escape from the oh, trust is a little off Trust me. Doesn't look off. Trust me. Trust me. Nope. I'm just crazy. Me and we will escape from the city. I'll make it through. That's definitely off. Same problem, but not the whole thing. So, same problem. That's okay. Not a big deal. We'll slide him back a little bit. Line up with the other one. Remember, kids, when you edit, do your fades. I'll make it. Sounds better everywhere but the first one. You Logic users, Marquee Tool is amazing. This thing right here, your secondary tool up here. Yeah, it's awesome. It does a lot. I'll make it. Might do a whole video just on the marquee tool. Well, no wonder it sounds strange. The whole thing's off with the lead vocal. Was this amateur hour? I mean me, not the singer. You figure that I would have spotted that when I did these before. So let's scoot the whole thing up. Let's see if we can get a better match here. I'll make it through Everywhere but here. Editing is a is is a necessary thing to do. You want it to sound awesome, can't be afraid of edits. And it is super important. Are we people have been conditioned to hear things on time, even if they don't know it, to hear things in pitch, even if they don't know it. And if you're going to do a lot of this, you got to have an ear for it and notice little things like that. And you got to be able to make the edits. I'll make it through, prove it to you. Follow me. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Certainly don't want to do it accidental. <laughs> you don't want to do that. We'll shade these up and make sure we get out any room, uh, any room noise or anything crazy that doesn't need to be there. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Aha. Okay. Let's try this. Short it up. 
Fade it, get it out at the same time. Follow me. There we go. Follow me. Same with this one. Follow me. There we go. A lot tighter. We don't want it to be egregiously longer than the other unless it's a separate part. If it's going to be a double or something like that, we definitely want to get them lined up. All right. So I think we're doing pretty good with these background vocals. We'll check in this verse here. some noise in here I heard let me see if we can find it yeah. Yeah. no maybe not but that's okay another high pass filter never hurt anybody Let's see if these line up or if these are mixed well Cancellation there. Yeah. Move it off slightly. Yeah. All right, which one's changing pitch? Yeah. That one's changing pitch. They're all kind of doing it. These two are pretty egregious about it. It's just distracting. Let's pull these back just a little bit to get out of the way of the leads as they hang on longer. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds a lot better. Sounds a lot smoother. Do little edits here or there. Don't be afraid to try things just to get things sounded the way you want it to sound. I think we're going to go with that on our background vocals for now. And when we come back, we'll make any other last minute changes but that's just about it on this mix we did our everything so if you found this useful mix and background vocals sorry some of these some long-winded spots some edits that we needed to do uh, but hopefully it was informative useful and you could do this kind of quick and easy with eq compression a little reverb just get your blend right and don't be scared to really affect your your background vocals to create a sound that's good for you and your music if you want to spread way out which we have them panned but not hard panned uh, if you want to give them reverb, not give them reverb, create your own sound. But using basic principles of EQ and compression, uh, you can get a lot done. So thanks again for hanging out. Like, subscribe, all the regular stuff. And we'll see you next episode.